What do you think, Dick? New competition, same success? Let's hope so, because the loser gets to watch from the stands after this third-round game between the Auburn Tigers and the Indiana Hoosiers. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Hoosiers should be looking at a tough fight tonight, Dick. What have they got to do to win this thing? They've got to stick to their game plan and focus on these keys. First of all, pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. Next, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. Third, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. He tries to knock down the three. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Here's a flash from the high post. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. And up. Perfectly executed. That was awesome, baby. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Looking for a good shot. He goes for three. There was no doubt about that one. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The center receives the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Point guard receives the pass. Fed the low block. With a little baby hook. In and out. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. For two, perfectly executed. the perimeter. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Gave it up. The shooting guard handles the feed. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Inside, Nelson handles the pass. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Back they come the other way. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. on the guy in the post to go the other way from three-point territory drains it <laughs> the 
defensively. Low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. For two, perfectly executed. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Entry pass in the paint. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Indiana is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. He'll regroup the offense. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Trying to pack it inside. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. From left of the circle, he bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Up and inside. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He puts up the tray, gets it to go. Hobbs is trying to pump up the crowd. He wants everyone up for the next possession. There's a double team waiting there. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Inside. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Shows the sweet touch. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Indiana are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. And he'll kick it back outside. He intercepts it. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, you spin back the other way. There's the fake. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. In the paint, trying to draw some contact. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Kicks it out. He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes up for two. The Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Turnover City now always reeling the gate. Any offense. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dan. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Oh. 
Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. From three-point range. Working it around the perimeter. Looks at a three. He gets that one to fall. Moving it around the perimeter. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats it to the spot. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Dumping inside. Kicks off the lazy pass. From the baseline. Off the rim and no good. And he scores despite the hack. Tigers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Defense giving some room. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art. Feet of the post. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Marys at home. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Tries for two. Well, this isn't the contest we expected so far. This is turning into a blowout, baby. Somebody better find some heart and start doing the little things. Here's a double team. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. And has it rejected. Defense the blocks the shot. There's the screen up on top. Long down court pass. Jumps into the defender. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick down on the sidelines. The losing team is starting to get a bit anxious. Their coaches can sense that, and they're telling their team to just relax. Could it be the bright lights that have this team second guessing so far tonight, Brad? a bad pass right to the defender They're working around the perimeter they work the perimeter Dick a great battle down in the low post but I think the offense is gaining ground here yeah, he's getting great inside position has the great angle he's got him set up perfectly for a basket they got the 45 degree angle which is essential in entering the ball to the post picked off 
Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? He bombs from outside. It's good. Looking for a good shot. And they come with a double team to stop it. Pull up jumper from way out. They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Pressure, great double team, really explosive. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. A chance for three from the line. Misses the first. Misses the second shot. Misses all of them. Tears it away. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Way off target. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The Hoosiers go to the line for the first time in this game. Gets the first. Them both. Oh, he drained it. Left on the nylon in the end. Facing so important with a great block. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Oh, what a strip, Red. Launches away. Way off target. Up and inside. Unloads a three. That was nice. Look at this last play right here. is feeling good. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Picked out of the air. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. A 
on the outside. Got an open look if he wants it. The skip pass is picked off. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. For the bucket, in and out. Double team now, Matt Angle. Clock shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. The ball goes out of play. the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. High post flashes for the opportunity. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from long range. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Show me that one again. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. For two, basket falls despite the contact. Terrible execution on offense. Got a wide open look. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. And he missed. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And he'll kick it back outside. The ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Yep, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I'll tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Shot clock is dead. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. Perfectly executed. And halftime, the Hoosiers are ahead by 31. It has definitely been an interesting first half. Any plays, Dick, in particular that stand out for you? In my opinion, Mr. Nestler, this trifecta is what set the tone for the offense in the first half. It represents the deep arsenal of threats this team has to offer. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out. 
Indiana is killing the opposition on the glass in the first half. Hey, these kids know what it takes to win big games, Brad. If you can win the rebound and battle on any given night, you have a great shot of winning the ball game. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Sinks it. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. He goes for three. Buried it. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. The center with the ball. Tries for two. I'm going to run into the screen again. What did I say? Line. Scorches the net. That's a seven zip run. The center gets the ball. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Defense got it after knocking it loose. He hits it. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Takes away the pass. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. Cross court, intercepted. job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Hits the first shot. Makes them both. Stolen away. Transition opportunity coming up. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Pump fakes. Great defense. Mr. the Nestle easy bucket coming here. He made the duck plus an opportunity for one. There's nothing like throwing down a dunk and getting the foul. Speaking from experience there, Dick? Of course. Oh, Mr. Nestle, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. At the free throw line. Good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Adam 
momentary look from three-point land. Looking for the foul. He buries it. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. In and out. Looking for a good shot. He gives him the fake. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the trap. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help stop. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Center gets the pass. Here's a double team. It's stolen. The point guard takes the pass. For two, knocks it down. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Solid work getting back on D. Stolen ball. The shooting guard takes the feed. Goes up for two. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Work it inside, and he and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And it goes in. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see raw man. That's essential when you play out there and you front it. the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He puts it in with contact and all. Takes away the pass. Obvious scores it. And he's fouled. So again, one opportunity here. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the room. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. You've got that right, Brad. He goes to the line. It's good. That's a 7-0 run. Picks off the pass. Pushes it. Length of the floor. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Players got a much needed breather with that timeout. For the bucket, perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a baby hook. Doesn't go.
that and momentary look from three-point land. Nice shot. The Tigers are behind by 23. There they come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. All right, thanks, Aaron. How about an instant replay? He intercepts it. Gant looks to be down emotionally. Dad, I see a young man who's struggling at both ends of the court. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. Looking for a good shot. He's got some room. Looks at the three. Rims out. Looking for contact. This one has really gotten ugly, my friend. Yeah, it's all but over unless things change in a hurry. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Despite the harm. The Hoosiers have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. They move it into the front court. Intercepted. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Shots there if he wants it. Strips the ball. Number one, supplying pressure and looking for the steal. In addition to the pressure defense, they're going for some aggressive steals as well. Robs him of the ball. They're off into transition. For two, gets it to go. That's seven on answer. Picked out of the air. That's basic. Steals a pass. They work it around the arc. He takes it away. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Picks off the lazy pass. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. The Hoosiers are up by 15. Jumped in front to take it away. Tries for two. The ball goes out of play. Nick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Gets it back out for three. Got it. Go 
Bulls up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. From the top of the key, he hits the shot. Keep your eye right on the ball here. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart nice shot the Tigers are behind by 15 gave it up that's been moves not going to work against the defense like that I tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot takes away the pass momentary look from three-point land. Auburn have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Trying to draw the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. It won't fall. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some content. He rejects it. Fake. He attempts a jump hook. The Tigers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Up it inside. Three. Oh, yes. Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. He hits the second shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Defense! Defense! They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. But great swat. Hey, it looks like he was swatting flies in the summertime. Looking for a good shot. He launches the bomb. Buries it. They're working around the arc. Great defense. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making the throw to lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He intercepts it. Up 
inside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Makes an outstanding block. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Ten on the shot clock. From three-point territory, way off target. Working it around the perimeter. Steals the pass. Step out on that screener. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps in. Can't get the shot to drop. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Man, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. On the outside. He's got a nice shot fake. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen ball. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He shoots from right of the circle. Auburn are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. On the dribble, gives it up. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. They work it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. Number 21 is charged with the foul. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Wide open for the shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. From right of the circle, he's money with a shot. Wow, let's check out the replay. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Nick. Another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And the clock stops with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. With the free throw. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Second one, no good. Nelson cleans another one off the glass. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. the clock again. 
Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, down the stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Defensive possession. That was nice. And the clock stopped with a foul. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus would get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. the second shot. From downtown. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. From half court. He misses from way outside. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you've got to win it, keep on going to get that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, when this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Indiana just wanted it a little bit more in this game, and because of that, they're going to live to play another day, Dick. Hey, they're on their way to the Elite Eight, Mr. Nestle, where they'll be joined by the seven best teams in that nation. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.